So year 10, we've come to the end of this topic. So we need to do a little bit of revisions. This is lesson nine and our final lesson. So we're going to be looking at how much we can remember about the adaptations and ecosystems topic. We've done quite a lot, actually, in uh, these last eight lessons. It's covered quite a broad um, kind of spectrum of different parts of the topic. So I would be very impressed if you can remember everything. It's not a test, so please do use all the resources that you've used, uh, made so far, all the lesson notes you've made so far. And I've also included the BBC Bite Size links um, that are useful for this topic. So on Show My Homework, you will see that there are um, lots of attachments, um, lots of them are duplicates, so don't panic. Um, there's sort of two main options of activities you can do for this lesson. You'll be glad to know there's no quiz. Um, this is more about getting you into uh, the habit of revising topics as we go and also giving you the opportunity to explore different methods of revising. So there's key questions. So there's simple questions that uh, cover all of the content um, of this whole topic. So I've given it to you as a PDF so you can easily view it on your phone or tablet or if you just want to print it off so then you can write on the sheet. Um, but I've also saved it as a Word document and you can, if you can open up Word on your laptop, for example, you can then complete it on there. Um, it could be useful just to, uh, to turn it into flashcards. So, for example, have the question on one side and the answer on the other. So you're producing sort of um, a stack of flashcards as you go during the course rather than waiting until just before your GCSEs and you panic around April and uh, then you try and make them all then. So it's good to kind of like build up your store as you go. Some of my year 11s have done this in the past and they found it really useful. And then they could just pick them up and revise rather than actually having to prepare the revision materials before they could even do anything. Alternatively, you could use it, uh, the key questions, as a way of quizzing yourself that you do with your knowledge organisers. So rather than you coming up with your own questions um, to quiz yourself, I've given you the questions and you can See if you can remember it and then go through your notes and uh, do some self-assessment and check how you did with your answers, for example. Really good memory recall uh, type of activity there. Uh, then we've got another option. I've given you some templates for revision posters. There's two versions available. One is two pages and slightly easier. And I've given that to you as a PowerPoint uh, that you can edit or as um, a PDF so you can print it. Um, that one's probably the most kind of straightforward one. However, if you fancy a bit of a challenge, I've included another one which is available as a Word document and as a PDF, so you can edit the Word one. Um, and it's slightly more difficult. It's, there's not as much con uh, kind of guidance on what each area needs, so you can kind of be a little bit freer with it, but make sure you do obviously add as much detail as possible. Honestly, it's not a problem if you can't print. I, I don't even have a printer at home, so I definitely don't expect you to. Um, but the uh, kind of idea is that I'm giving you lots of resources that you can use in many different ways. So, for example, the posters you could use as a template and just redraw it out on your own blank sheet of paper. You might find that actually some of the boxes you don't need them to be as big as uh, other ones, so you can kind of adapt the layout to suit you. So, like I said, I've put the BBC Bite Size links that are appropriate to this content. Um, on the show, show my homework entry and they've actually got some practice questions on there to try out as well for the bit about classification just be mindful that uh, it does overlap with another topic on bbc bite size it's just how we deliver it differently to how um, bbc bite size have organized it so but most of it should be a revision so you might find that the past exam questions on that um, are to do with things like uh, genetic disorders which you've all studied so you can use that as a really good way of going back over some other content and test yourself. The bits uh, about sort of adaptations, competition, um, all the sort of studying of how to carry out sampling, etc. That's all neatly within one topic, though. So you should have covered all of that with me. Um, so you should be able to have a go at those practice, practice questions just based on what we've learned together in this topic. So I have actually also uh, attached some practice exam questions I really would like you to try. I do think it's really important to get exam practice in uh, as early as possible rather than just doing practice, practice papers just before your actual exam. So if you are doing the foundation tier, which is likely if your target is between a grade one and four, 
um, or if you're a shaky five at the moment, um, then try the foundation tier ones. Um, and if you are targeted more of a grade five to nine, then try the higher tier ones. I've put them as links, so you can, should be able to click on the hyperlinks within the Show My Homework entry. But I've also put um, the PDFs on as well, so you should be able to uh, access them easily. If uh, you can print them, then great. If not, just write the answers on a piece of paper uh, like you would um, any other sort of textbook work. Uh, I have not given you the mark scheme for these. So um, rather than a quiz and um, me monitoring how you've gone, I would like you to email me for the mark scheme and just let me know if you need the, the foundation one or the higher one. Um, and I will email it back to you and you can check how you've got on. Also, just to let you know, if you want to photograph or save any of your work and check and send it to me to check, I am more than happy for you to do that. It would be lovely to hear from some of you. Um, or all of you actually. So uh, yeah, feel free to do that. Um, and but other than that, uh, you're done with me for this topic. I'm so sad to say, but hopefully see you very soon. Take care.